camera around. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Gangster Gangster back at you again. Ah, uh, y'all see Blessed hit TA. I had a blowout on Blessed last week. And so I went ahead, put 10 new toes on this thing. 10 toes down, baby. Don't play with your equipment. You got bad tires, ball tires, or one tire go on you, and the rest of them are already low. Just don't put a brand new tire on there. Get your recap, roll on down the road, go get your 10. All right, all about. All right, y'all, it's your boy Gangster Gangster. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Running around doing my free trip right quick. Y'all see blessing. About ready to hit this road. I'm gonna take a short four hour dead head. Go pick up this next load. Well, not next load. I've been screwing off here lately. Been off about a week. Took off for Father's Day and never went back out. But, um, just doing my little pre-trip. Checking out my deck, make sure my board's good. You know what I'm saying? Make sure nobody stole my equipment. Because I had to park my truck in another spot that I usually don't park here. But it is what it is, what it is. We'll get into that later. But uh, let me finish my little pre-trip. I'll holler back. Honestly, I'm going to be a good blogger this time. My numbers be going down, so I got to get them things back up. So, I'm going to be out this trip. I'll be back. Let me get situated. Good morning, y'all. I'm out here in, uh, right outside of Shreveport, right before you get to the 220. Look at my load. That's the load I picked up in Savannah. I'm going to take this out on out there to El Paso, Texas. A little heavy back there, a little heavy back there. Just got through doing my little pre-trip. Um, checking out checking out my um, air leveling system. Um, make sure everything's good on that. It can't be too low off the ground, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Need to get it up a little bit. <laughs> Especially when it starts, stuff just starts getting heavy. Um, you got a little mobility the higher up you are. But we'll talk about all that garbage in another clip. Let me go ahead and get me some coffee. Watch the fade, breath tea, get on the road. I'll be back at y'all on uh, next pit stop. Yo! Okay, over here in Terrell, Texas, stop to get some fuel. Um, anytime you're dealing with open deck platform, especially when you start getting in real weight, but any open deck platform, every time you stop, check your security. So, especially dealing the stuff like this, this heavy, you want to check it constantly, constantly. If I start to take a leak, I'm checking. <laughs> All right, let me get back to business. Holla back at y'all. Yo. All right, y'all, what's up? If anybody know where I'm at, yes. All right, all right. I'm in Odessa. Uh, Road Ranger, one of my little stops. You know, they got a little church chicken up in this joint. So I definitely come check them out. Actually, I'm out here. The reason I stopped here, I'm looking for Mr. Hamilton. And I'm looking for chasing. I'm looking for the $15,000 flat top. Ain't it 15000 I'm looking for the flat top. Don't see it nowhere out here. I don't see the flat top. I don't see Mr. Hamilton. I don't know where they hiding it. But anyway, start to give me something to eat. Trying to debate if I'm going to shut it down. Uh... Take it on another few miles, probably do another 100 miles, call it a day. I got like two and a half hours left on my clock. She's still sitting back there, ain't lost her yet, you know. <laughs> ain't lost her. But, hey, I'm about to lose my oversized side. You see this tan up in the front? Yeah. Man, they're down. I'm gonna start buying them in bulk off eBay or Amazon or something, man. I, one trip, I lost two signs out the front and one in the back. And we ain't even started talking about flags yet. But all right, I'll hit y'all next stop. I'll let y'all know why I shut it down. Yo. All right, y'all, I made it out here to Texas. Uh, we separated, waiting for them to unload. And let me start try to find me some shade. I can't find them. Whoo, guys don't need another tan. Um, actually, this unit um, did some training down in Florida so they was talking about the heat <laughs> I, I mean in Georgia they were talking about the heat in Georgia <laughs> you know, well I guess if you're not used to humidity 
Okay, but I'm not used to the dry heat. <laughs> it's killing me. But anyway, let me go ahead and do this. Um, unload this. Go to a shower. Go to a truck stop. Give me shit. Shower and shave. Y'all know the routine. Uh, find me another load. Either I'm gonna dead head over to Laredo or um, back down. Either down to Laredo or over to Dallas area, Dallas Fort Worth. I seen a couple of loads. Of course, I would have dead head to it. I'm trying to find that perfect load over the holidays since I'm gonna be out for the four. Um, anybody barbecue and let me know. I need to stop by and get a plate. All right, holla back. Yo. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get ready in this video here. Short one. Uh, sitting here at the iron skillet out here in El Paso, Texas. Look, still looking for a load. Ain't seen nothing really peak my interest. Um, doing this, I see it's more patience than this. <laughs> Sit back and wait for that load. It ain't no run, run, run. Um, especially considering you have to deadhead, you know. Um, like I said, I'm gonna deadhead back to either Laredo or Dallas. But I'm peeping which way I'm going. I'm peeping, I'm peeping. See, like more freight coming up out of that Dallas Fort Worth area compared to Laredo. But it is what it is, what it is. But real quick, before I end this video, for anybody who didn't catch my live feed, I just want to reiterate, um. I went in for Father's Day and didn't go back out for a week. And in that time, I was off all that time. Once you become an owner operator, you're not making money every day. Um, my driver went on vacation, so I took the time to, you know, I had to do owner operator stuff. I put 10 new tires on Blessed, um, did some preventative maintenance work, put some new brakes on um, Becky, as well as the airbag or two, a couple other things I had done. Uh, worth of buying about $3,000 worth of repairs, but those 3000 is the investment back into your business so you can keep that truck running. So, it is what it is. You know, anytime you work for yourself, it's not every day is going to be generating revenue, but you have to keep everything going to generate that revenue so it's not a nine to five it's not you know and i ain't just talking about trucking anytime you got your own business it's not a nine to five but anyway any hiding who i'm gonna end it right there if you get a chance go back and check out my last live feed once again it's your boy gang gang g way peace my food on the way holla thank you appreciate it